Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today I will be, re be reviewing the Garrett Pro Plunger 2 second generation. This comes with a holder, which is very good quality. You can buy this on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. And this is for about, I'd say, 110 United States dollars, sometimes 20 with shipping. So guys, when you're purchasing this, please know that it does take 9 volt alkaline batteries. So either have those in your house or buy them before you purchase this. Um, it can detect objects up to three inches around it. So this whole area can detect three inches. That's the most I've found. And this, by the way, if you're wondering, um, it's good if you're going to prospect because this can detect gold. Um, it's very good and precise at locating small objects such as coins. Yes, it can detect bigger objects, but it... It's really, really good at getting smaller objects. Um, here is a bit of a close-up. Um, so right here is the LED light, uh, which I will be turning on. So fairly bright, um, good if you're detecting in the dark. There's no way to turn it on and off without turning the pin pointer off or on. Um, here is the battery case. And I might go on a little bit of a rant, but this is my only problem with the detector. This case, let me see if you can get in focus if you guys need to read anything. Um, it's so annoying to open. I've only had to open it once to obviously put in the 9-volt um, battery. But, like, it's, it's a twist-off. It's literally a twist-off, and I can't even open it. I had to get help from some other friends of mine to open this thing. So that's my only problem with this detector. It's just really hard to open. You probably have to have it use it multiple times. That's just my only problem with this thing. Um, and that I can't do some other things like be fully submerged underwater. Which comes to my next point, which it can only be waterproof up to the button. Um, but back to the close-up. Here is where the sounds come out. This is the same button as the AET Pro. Um, here's a little loop. Not sure what you could put through that. Probably not that much. Um, and this is the scraping blade, which is nothing special. Um, I really love this pin pointer. It's so easy to use, except for the battery case. But um, it's very precise at pinpointing um, anything really it's just it gets louder as you get closer to the object and uh, less loud as you get back so it's I really love how precise this thing is compared to some others um, and some me dig up a lot of things quicker than any other competitors um, like or any knockoff brands so my final thoughts on the um, Garrett Pro Pointer second generation 2 um, is it's a really great pin pointer and I really highly recommend it. It was worth all my money. Every single dollar I put into that was worth it. Um, it's good for beginners I, and intermediate people. I wouldn't say if this, it, it, this should be your first pin pointer. I would definitely not say that because you should probably start off something cheaper than rise up so I on the card right here I will put a cheap alternative if you're literally just getting into metal detecting and it's gonna be your first pinpointer ever highly recommend that if it's literally your first detector but this if you had a couple like maybe maybe if it's even your first pinpointer or your second but as long as you've you know what you know a good deal about metal detecting and everything really great for that really great for the intermediates beginners um and please subscribe and like if you did enjoy this video i hope you did um we do have a couple sponsors um their links will be in the description see you in the next one